All right, so this is my I got a Dark Magician of Illusions OTK deck. You know, Dark Magician of Illusions for the win. I got three Dark Magicians. I like using the alternate arts. Makes it cooler that way. Cause it makes it feel like, you know, whenever I summon one of them, it's a unique one that's being controlled by the power of me. <laughs> Alright, gotta go with the classic, of course. That's my nigga right there. But I also have him and him. Alright, so three Gaga Gaga Magicians. Three Gaga Sister, because she lets you get Gaga Revenge or uh, Gaga Academy Emergency Network. So she just straddles up the deck if you want to look at it that way. Fall King, of course. Um, mainly because obviously he's a level seven. I can almost summon, so that makes makes rank seven plays a lot easier. But also is the also it comes in handy the whole ability to prevent your opponent from being able to tribute summon. So that comes in handy because then you don't have to worry about monarch decks or any other deck that's similar, or even just Stardust Assault move or Stardust or something like that, which requires tributing to do what they do. Yeah. Mm, cards cannot be triggered, just making sure it's exactly like Master Restrict. Alright, so Gaga Girl, uh, just because she combos good with uh, with uh, Gaga Sister, so Girl and Sister, so Girl Sister, <laughs> Girl Sister, they combo well together when you do use them to create Michael Mac and uh, you create a nice little OTK right there. I mean, you can also get the similar effect if you use uh, uh, Gaga Magician and, of course, Gaga Girl. You get pretty much the same same thing out of it. But typically, what will happen is you'll probably Gaga Revenge um, Girl from the graveyard onto the field, which is why Foolish Pearl is in the deck. Bring her back from the graveyard with Gaga Revenge. Then you will summon Gaga Sister. Get her effect, and they can add another guy of revenge if you want. You know, so you can use use it um, again later to do like basically do the combo again if you want. Because you know we got dark eruption in the deck, so you can add Gaga sister, and then Gaga sister when you summon her, show she can add another guy of revenge. Gaga revenge can bring back you know Gaga girl or Gaga magician, and you know obviously it recycles and there's a lot of spam. Um, you do the trick so that you can, of course, do the Maku Mech and pretty much OTK if you target a, a monster with 3,000 attack or more. You can OTK with the Maku Mech, Gaga OTK. So this deck has one OTK. The other one is the whole uh, um, Gaga Revenge, you know, um, Dark Magician of Illusions, OTK, of course. You have to set the field up for it, but it's not impossible. Then we got Gaga Academy Emergency Network. It's pretty good just for like first time, uh, for, uh, not first turn, but um, just for setting up a play, just because it's like, finally they gave us a way of summoning, you know, I got, I got a monster, um, which is good. We needed a way to get a Gaga monster on the field as fast as possible, and then summon another, another one in Derp Derp. The typical target for this would be obviously a Gaga Magician. He's the, the main Gaga of the Gaga decks, right? So I use I use that to get him out. Beto, MST, Regeki Break, Red Screen, my staples, of course. Deck Devastation because a lot of Dark um, XYZs. And of course, I got Dark Magician. So Deck Devastation so I can devastate to my opponents. It's good against virtually every deck. Foolish Burrow again so that I can set up the graveyard. Um, sometimes you might just want to thin out the deck. You might not want to draw into a Dark Magician so you could just set them straight to the grave if you want. But you could also send Gaga Magician to a grave and then bring them back with Gaga Revenge, you know, so forth and so forth. And then Summon Fall King. Then you can go into like a first turn Dragon Sack or you can go into Big Eye. Or you know you can go into Dark Magician of Illusions, use his effect, bring back, bring out Dark Magician from the deck onto the field or hand, 
right? And then you can use the Dark Magician that you brought out for Deck the Bit Station. Then next turn you can detach, bring out another Dark Magician, so you have two 25s on the field. You get the idea. You get the idea of how to play. You never know, you might be in a position where you need to make, you, you need to wind up Zen main, so that's, he's there for that. You might need number 101, so he's in there for that, for when you need him. Maku Mac, of course, for the Gaga OTK. You got Magi Magi, Magician Gale, which is also useful for the Dark Magician OTK because, you know, I got a version where you use her to take a monster from your opponent's graveyard, like let's say Blue Eyes. Then on top of her, you throw, you throw Dark Magician Illusion on top of her, activate his effect by detaching her to bring out Dark Magician from the deck onto the field. All right, so then you can proceed to spam, as it were. Let's see. Um, but of course, um, yeah, you, you make her, then you use her effect to take your opponent's monster, then you overlay Dark Magician, yeah. So you took a 3,000, then you made a 25, brought out Dark Magician. That right there is 8,000, that right there is game. But you can also do use her along with Re Gaga Revenge and bring back Gaga Magician and XYZ and stuff like that. Um, and M7 just because he's good and the ability to recycle your monsters, to reuse them and make use of them. Obviously like Gaga Sister so you can keep plussing the Gaga Revenges to your hand. So this is basically the monster born of the deck. Felgram. Um, the beauty of Gaga Magician, obviously, he he can go up to the maximum of eight. So 